so the smaller number, which is the divisor, is usually the number you are skip counting by when we're dividing for the area model. So step number one, what are we going to do, everyone? Set up the problem. What are we going to do? Set up the problem. Yeah, set up the problem. So if we follow it over here, okay, so if we have like 1,572 divided by 4, this would be how we set up our problem, right? We take the dividend. We see how many digit it, digits it has. And then we make the boxes accordingly. So there's four digits here, four digits in our box, okay? And then we know we put addition signs on top of our lines, okay? We also put uh, the dividend over here and the divisor, or the divisor over here and the dividend inside, right? We talked about um, area model for multiplication. Usually we put it up here, but because it is Division, it's the opposite of multiplication. We're actually switching it and we put the, the larger number inside, okay? And the other thing that's a little different from the multiplication area model is we put a subtraction um, line there, right? And most important, my friends, is writing the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands on the bottom. Yes, the reason why this is so important is this is like the place value chart, as we know. And this will actually tell you what your answer will look like on the top. So up here, you'll have a ones, which is what, one digit, right? Over here, we'll have um, the tens, which would be a how many digit number? Okay, and then this is the hundreds place, so your answer will be a three digit number. And this is the thousands place, so your answer will be a and we also know sometimes it doesn't work, right? If it doesn't divide at all, if it just absolutely doesn't work, we just put a what at the top? Zero. Yep, a zero. Like obviously, as we know, we follow our number sentence going in that direction, and we always stop and look at each number and think about what we do for that number, right? So I see 740, right? 740 has how many digits? Three three digits, okay? So that tells me that I have three boxes, okay? So here we are on step number one. We're gonna set up the problem, okay? So three digits, three boxes. Boop, boop. Okay, our addition signs go on top of the lines. Our subtraction goes inside the boxes. And then ones, tens, hundreds. It doesn't go to thousands today. I'm just going to put one, tens, and hundreds instead of writing the whole word. Okay? And then as we know, we take our 740. It goes inside of the box. And our three goes on the outside. Okay, did I do step number one good? Yes. Did I forget anything? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Did you even look? Oh, I got it. I, got it. <laughs> I did? Did I forget something? The equal sign. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. We want to probably put the equal sign over here because over here is where our answer is going to be. Here. Okay, perfect. And so then here we go, guys. We're going to go on to step number two right here. Step number two, we're going to start our steps, right? Start our steps. So the way that we do it is we highlight. What do we highlight? The place value, right? And then we divide, multiply, subtract, move over, and then we start again. Okay, so let's just chant that a little bit so we can remember you guys are really good so at it. I'm in my first box and I see that it's what? The hundreds place, right? So what digit am I gonna highlight? The hundreds place. That is the, oh, I don't like that color much. It's kind of hard to see, yellow. I highlight the hundreds place and what we do is we just cover up the end of the number and we look, okay? So after we highlight, we divide, divide. So what I have is I have seven divided by three. Seven divided by three. We know that sometimes it doesn't um, divide evenly, right? You guys are really good at that. And you're really good at skip counting by threes, right? So we're going to count by threes, and we're going to stop close to seven. But remember, we can't go over seven, okay? So if I count by threes and stop on seven, because I'm doing seven divided by three. Oh, I see fingers already. All right, you can help me. Let's count by threes and stop close to seven. Ready? Three, six, eight. Nope, I can't go farther, right? All right, it's two, right? So where do I write it? I write my two up here on top. Thank you, Christopher. But look, it's not two. It's in the hundreds place. So I make it what? 200. Mm, that's much better. 
Okay, so next step, divide, then we multiply. Cool, just like area model, we look at our box and we always multiply the top times the side, just like a multiplication chart. And you go, you write it right there, huh? We divided, we multiplied, now we're going to subtract, right? Okay. We subtracted, and I have to start again. Okay, highlight, divide, multiply, subtract, move over. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my highlighter, okay? I'm like, oh, what do I highlight? Oh, the tens place. Christopher, let's raise our hand, buddy. I love it that you know, though, he's right. The tens place, so if I look up here, I see the tens place is a four, right? Remember, friends, we only cover up the end of the number, right? So when we cover up the end, oh wait, I don't see only a four, I see what? Yeah, I see a one, two, which is 14. So I'm highlight, or I'm covering up this, and now I have 14 divided by the three. So I write my four, but then I stop and think, wait a second, it doesn't just divide four times. I'm in the tens place. It has to be 40. Yeah. Mm, that makes sense. All right? Divide. What's next? What's next? Multiply. Yeah. Multiply. Okay. As we know, here's my box. I multiply the top number times the side number. So I have 40 times 3. Okay. We divided. We multiplied. Now we need to subtract. So I did all my steps, and what do I do? I take my answer and I move it over and start again. All right, friends, we're in the last box, okay? We talk about the last box all the time. We don't need to move anything over. It is the ones place, but even if we highlight the ones place, we still have to use the whole number. There's nothing to cover up. So we have 20. We're going to divide and then multiply, subtract, wait, no move over. Yep, there's no more boxes. Good, Chris. 40. So we always say when we're done with a problem, we have to think, hey, is it reasonable? Because we talked about when we, ha when we add numbers, the answer will be larger, right? When we subtract numbers, the answer will be less. Okay. What about division? Does this look reasonable? <laughs> 